Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. If you're new around here and you want to see more Halloween looks, I hope you would consider subscribing down below. And without further ado, let's jump on in to this look. Today I'm showing you how to do a skull for Halloween. I'm going to show you like a fairly basic skull and then kind of transform it through to a more um, in-depth skull where we add shading and depth to the skull. So you can do either the basic and work it through or you can just go straight to the full skull so I'll tell you as we go through where you can stop if you don't think you're at a skill level where you can do the advanced skull but it's very easy it's very easy it only involves black and white and it's just a lot of shading to add some depth and dimension and you can kind of get a feel for it as you go through Okay, so to create this look, there's a few different things that you'll need. Firstly is black eyeliner. For this look, I used a cake eyeliner, but you can also use a gel if you prefer. You'll also need a eyeliner pencil. Then you'll also need some white paint. I use the Ben Nye White Cake as well as the Super Beauty Space Panda Cake Eyeliner. As well as some brushes, you'll need some flat paddle brushes and some eyeliner brushes. So to start off with the look, I have gone around with the black eyeliner and mapped out the shapes of my eyes. So as you can see here, I'm just mapping out the hollows of my eye socket here. And for the ease of this look, I'm actually going to include the eyebrow into the black area just to make it easier. That way you don't have to do any brow blocking or anything like that. So we're just going to simply paint over this later on with black. Now moving on to the nose. Now as you can see here, I'm just explaining that the very tip of your nose, there is actually no bone. So the tip of your nose is just cartilage. So because we're doing a skull, we want to black out the area where there's cartilage. So going from about halfway down the nose, <coughs> we want to draw a straight line and connect it with a V. And the V needs one of the lines of the V to be longer than the other, as you can see here. And then we are just going to draw a bit of a circle around the tip of the nose. I know this looks very strange right now, but it will all come together at the end when we start blackening things out with the eyeliner. Next, we want to do the cheekbone. So as you can see here, I'm just really feeling around for where the actual bone of my cheek is. And then I'm just drawing a line with the black and I'm doing this on the other side, just feeling for where the cheekbone is. And I am just following that bone down and filling it all the way down to where it hits the corner of my lips. And I'm just curving this around to where you get to my lips. So bringing this all the way down to the corner of the lips. And then once again, you wanna do the same thing again for your jawbone. Just have a feel around for where the jawbone edge is and follow that all the way up to the corner of the ear there. And here I'm just rounding out the top of the skull just to make it look a little bit more uh, skull shapen. And I'm also here in this section here cutting out the temple and following this around to the top of my top corner of my forehead. So in this bit I am just showing you that I've got the Ben Nye White Cake and I've also got the Suva Beauty Space Panda. You can also use something like the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk if you don't have a white but if you can get some form of uh, white clown paint or a cake like I have it's going to be a little bit easier to use than the NYX Jumbo Pencils but if that's all you have you can use that. And here I'm just filling in the skull with the white paint and I'm just covering basically everything where I don't want the black. So leaving the eyes open and all around the skull, the tip of the nose will be black as well. I'm just explaining here that for a basic skull you can just fill out from the bottom of that cheekbone there and down from the bottom of the lip. You can do that all black if you want to do just a basic skull. But for this look, I'm going to take you all the way through to an advanced look. So we are filling in that bottom jaw with the white. And here I'm taking the Super Beauty Grease Liner in black. It's a black 
um, cake eyeliner that you mix with water and I'm just starting to fill in all the areas that I want black so starting with each of the eye sockets I'm just completely covering my eyelids and the area around my eye with black I'm just using a small shadow brush here you can use any kind of brush that is appropriate for the size of your eyes whatever's easier for you and now with the tip of the nose and I'm just trying to keep that that nice V shape on the top there and just filling in around the nostrils and I've just gone in with a small liner brush this is a super beauty 620 liner brush and I'm just fixing up the tips of the nose here just on the top of the V just to make it a little bit more precise and accurate a bit more pointy now I am filling in the outside of the skull with black and I am just running right around the white with the black and I'm just running this into my hairline just to make it look a little bit more realistic I guess you could say and just disguise any skin color that you see. I'm also running the black uh, grease paint into the jawbone gap area here but I just want to leave most of it clear because we're going to go in later with a shadow. Starting with the teeth and a very thin liner brush, this is another Super Beauty brush and the grease paint and we're just drawing lines up and down along my lips here starting with the very center with the cupid's bow and then working your way out with just straight up and down lines across the top to the bottom lip. So I'm just showing here that what you would look like if it was a finished basic skull um just blocking out the bottom jaw you would just have the top section here here i am just going in with a black eyeshadow and a very small fluffy blending eye brush and i'm just filling in around the edge of this space in the jaw gap here with black eyeshadow and then i'm just blending it in towards the center where you can still see my skin showing so i'm just placing the black along the edge and then just slowly bringing my brush in towards the center using backwards and forwards blending motions. Very simple, very simple. Now I'm just continuing on with my teeth. So I'm drawing a line that's slightly curved out from the corner of my lips up towards the, the corner of my ear. And then I'm going in with some more teeth. So just straight up and down lines like we were before. Here I'm just filling in the very center of my lips with a black liner just to make a gap between the teeth. And as you can see here, because I was using a cake liner, it was getting on my teeth quite a lot. So your best option here would be to fill in this center bit here as I am right now with either a black liquid lipstick or you can go in with a gel eyeliner and then set up the shadow just to stop it from moving onto your lips like I had in this clip. The next step we have here is just making the teeth look a little bit more realistic. So we don't want them to be so square, we want to round them off a little bit. So you can go through the front center of the teeth and just add a little bit of black to the lines and just round them off a little bit. You can also, if you want, add a bit of like a W shape into the bottom of each of the teeth just to make them look a little bit more realistic and not so boxy and square. Here I'm just going in with the black shadow on a very thin liner brush and I'm just extending each of the lines of the teeth up towards my nose and then on the bottom just down towards my chin. And this just elongates the teeth and makes them once again a bit more realistic. And here I'm going in with the Space Panda from Super Beauty and I'm just filling in the spots where I didn't have any teeth just with a fine liner brush. These don't have to be perfect, you can just throw something in there and they still look realistic in the end. Then I'm going in with a black eyeshadow here and just filling in the gaps in any way you can see my skin. As you can see it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm just going to finish off the bottom of this skull jawline and I'm filling this in with black and I'm also wrapping this around the corner, very corner of the jawline there in my ear. You can also if you like add in some like skeleton bones on the neck. These just have to be like a oblong kind of circle shape on the neck. Just fill it in with white and you're good to go. It doesn't have to be perfect. Once again, mine end up looking quite lopsided here, but they still add to the overall effect. Then I'm just going in around this with the black 
liner again and also running this all the way around onto my neck as you can see there. Now I'm just going to go through and add some shading through to like the curves of the face just to give it a little bit more definition and not make it look so flat. So I'm just going in with the black eyeshadow on my thin liner brush and then blending it out with the fluffy brush and then I'm just adding in a little bit of Space Panda on my other liner brush and running that right along the edge. This all just adds to the effect of the skull and gives it a little bit more definition and makes it look not so flat. And as you can see, I'm doing this just wherever I feel like I need to. So I'm running some under each of the eye sockets, around the top of the forehead corner curve here. I'm just blending it out. You can do this as much or as little as you like, it's just however much you kind of feel. Here I'm adding some kind of expression to the skull, so I'm doing a bit of a curved line from the corner of my eye here where I finished off the black on the eye. You can also frown and this will show you like the direction of where your eyebrows go and the skin above your eyebrows when you frown. So you basically want to just emphasize the frown of the skull and do this on both sides. Here I'm going in with a black eyeshadow on my small fluffy brush ever so slightly. I mean ever ever so slightly. We want to build this up very very slowly. And we're just adding a tiny bit of shadow on each of the temples. And then I've just gone ahead and done the same shading that I did around my face just on the curves on the skeleton bones. And I've also added a little bit of shading on the chin there just to make the kind of chin bone pop and make it look a little bit more curvy. Now is the last step. This is completely optional, but I've gone in with my black eyeliner, the Super Beauty Liner, and my really tiny fine brush, and I'm just adding some cracks into the skull. This is a completely optional step, but I do think it adds a little bit of something extra to the skull, and I think it looks really cool in the end. So now I'm just finishing off my hairline. I This is an additional step again. I just think that this really adds to the effect of the skull, just finishing and neatening it off, but I'm just wrapping around the black into my hairline. And lastly, you can definitely paint your ears if you wanted to, but I didn't do that for this look today because I did have to rush out the door and didn't feel like washing black paint out of my ears. But just to finish off the look, I messed up my hair like a crazy person and added a crap load of dry shampoo. Make sure if you are using dry shampoo, spray it outside, otherwise you can kill yourself from the fumes, it gets a bit much. But this is the final look. how this turned out and if you want to you can pair it with just a black t-shirt like I have now and you can like do skeletons down your arms or paint your arms black you can get one of those skeleton suits that would go really well with this makeup but if you enjoyed this look make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you recreate this look let me know down in the comments box and also make sure you tag me on Instagram I would love to see your recreations don't forget to subscribe down below for some more Halloween looks coming your way that's it for this video everyone and I will see you in the next video goodbye